Hello, Derek. I spoke with Rhonda earlier. My name's Scott Walker with Impact Layton SEO, and I wanted to shoot over this quick video showing some tips and tricks that you can do in-house to help bring in business using your website and your Google business profile. I would appreciate to hear your feedback about the video, and I hope these strategies are helpful and educational for you as well. So here's your website right here. Um, you know, I do like the uh, logo up here. It's pretty cool. And I do like Academy because I just graduated from college, so that's awesome. Um, but one thing I do recommend um, for most websites is to add more content. And the reason I say that is because Google loves to see content. You want to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And throughout that content, you want to have keywords, which would be what you would be found for in Google searches, usually a location and also a service. Um, and just FYI, I clicked on this button right here and it does say it doesn't, that page doesn't exist. So I do recommend fixing that anyway. But the other thing is if you save all your images and uh, videos properly, see how it says download.html. If you save that as a keyword like Albuquerque plumber, it's embedded in the picture and that'll count as content as well when Google checks your website out. So I did go ahead and put your website into a tool I use called Arabs. Um, this will give me your analytics and kind of show me where you're setting. Um, the UR and DR is the strength and trust that Google has for your website. Uh, these are on a scale of 100, and um, I do recommend having them balanced and continuously moving up. And by Im implementing some of these strategies, this will boost your numbers right here. Um, you're currently setting at a 26 strength and a 6 trust, which is all right. Um, but And these are usually determined because of your backlinks and referring domains. And what a backlink is, is when one website links to another website via clickable button or text. Um, but not all backlinks are created equal, so I do recommend avoiding the spammy backlinks and going after the authoritative backlinks by sticking to your relevant industry and also location. Um, it looks like you're being indexed for 220 words, and this is just a guesstimate, but you're getting about 50 people to your website each and every month. Um, with it being that low, that is, your website's acting more like a digital business card as opposed to an online lead generating tool that can produce an ROI for you. And looking at some of the keywords that you're being indexed for, um, you know, Academy Plumbing is great, but it's not a buyer intent keyword. A buyer intent keyword would have a service and also a location. Um, you know, right here, Albuquerque Emergency Plumbing. There's not a lot of search and you're on the bottom of the first page of Google. But those are the type of keywords that you want to be ranking for. Um, you know, Plumbing Company Albuquerque, there's 300 search and you're on the third page of Google. So those are the type of um, keywords that you want to be ranked for because it has their buyer intent, they have a location and a service. So, you know, looking at Albuquerque Plumber, um, you know, this is the first page of Google for you. Uh, looking up here, you get your Google guaranteed services, and then usually there's some local ads going on as well. Um, and this is a great way to generate business quickly for you. But being up here in the Google Map Pack or Google Business Profile is really where you want to be. It's totally fine that you're not here right now. Um, there's so many ways you can get up there. You could be constantly adding reviews. You could make sure that your business name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet so you, so you don't mislead Google. There's also a 750 character about us section at the bottom of the page um, that you could fill out and you could uh, uh, fill that out using keywords as well. And then another tip I like to recommend is to post branded, geotagged, or geolocated photos weekly because this um, shows Google that you're growing your business organically. And then adding citations, which is your business name, address, and phone number into things like Yellow Pages and Yelp is very beneficial um, because Google's like a big popularity contest. And by giving out your information to as many people as possible, it will make Google start to trust you more and that will boost your business. And that's not only in Albuquerque, but in the surrounding areas as well. And then being up in the Google business profile um, usually generates about 30 to 40 percent of the of your um, online traffic going to your website because it's just conveniently to click right here or they'll give you a call right from here. And then we go down into the organics. Um, and this is where I was saying you want to rank for those keywords, uh, you know, and it looks like for this particular one, you know, you have three directories up here and then you have Rocketman Plumbing, which is, uh, you know, your number one competitor for that particular keyword. And looking at their website, uh, you know, not all that impressive. They don't have that much content on theirs as well. 
So, you know, once you um, have better content and keywords and then those authoritative backlinks and also the um, citations, you're going to start to outrank these guys. And just to kind of give you a glimpse of what I mean by that, I mean, look right here, Plumbers Albuquerque, there's 1,100 searches each month. And then Albuquerque Plumbing, there's 600 searches. So, I mean, you can see there's a decent amount of volume that is being searched each and every month for a plumber in Albuquerque. And once you start to outrank these guys, a percentage of that total volume will start going to your website instead of theirs. And then a percentage of the people going to your website will give you a call, and depending on your closing rate, will turn into a customer. So I definitely hope that this video was helpful. I again would appreciate to hear your feedback and thoughts. I do appreciate your time, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.